What's up, freaks? Uh, just heading back to the office. Uh, had an impromptu meeting with uh, Marish and Pazzy to catch up on some things while Marish was out of town. Um, but I'm getting back to the office because we have a special guest coming from Berlin, Mr. Axel from the Berlin Metal TV. And uh, we're going to talk about metal vlogging. So join us. What's up, freaks? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are lucky to have a good guy from Berlin. This is Axel from Berlin Metal TV. Do you still speak a little bit of German? Uh, a bit, yeah. Can you say, Axel from Berlin Metal TV is geil? Axel from Berlin Metal TV is geil. Geil. Das war also der schwarze Teppich von Metallicas Filmpremiere. And we brought him in as the expert. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> That's a hard thing to do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> And he helped us with the setup because uh, Kai's not here today. And so I floundered terribly with the audio equipment and uh, Phil saved the day. Yay! <laughs> yeah, so Axel's here. We got some Braidson. We got some Bavarian beer. <laughs> Let's start with Berlin Metal TV. <laughs> then we'll, go, we'll build from there. Okay, Berlin Metal TV actually is a um, thing we uh, founded when we were drunk and uh, my... Um, friend uh, called me and said, um, yeah, Axel, let's do a thing uh, like Wayne's World. We have a rehearsal room with a couch. Let's talk about metal and get drunk. And that we started seven years ago and we got drunk for three years, bi-weekly. <laughs> and uh, then we just changed the format because uh, the company we worked with said, yeah, you're pretty drunk and there's no content. Please switch into content made stuff. So we started to um, record it and not to stream live anymore and uh, have several guests uh, which are from the bigger metal scene, I would say. So it, it, first off, we started with uh, the smaller bands from Berlin and then we had like Equilibrium, Niera and guys who live in Berlin playing in bigger bands in Legend, Van Canto stuff. And then all those guys uh, that were working with me left me because they didn't see any future in it. And I was like, no, that's my baby. I, <laughs> I just want to stay here. And uh, then we started to uh, put it to another place with this um, uh, wall behind me with all the posters and stuff. And then I started to uh, have monologues uh, about metal. And that's what it is today. That's why I called it vlogging, because I, okay. I kind of thought, um, I mean, internet will tell me if I'm wrong, but I thought vlogging was kind of not only documenting your day, but kind of one person's point of view in a way. And yeah, you know what, I, I, I do not call myself YouTuber, and I really do not watch YouTubers, and I am not into the gear and the technique, and I'm just into metal, and those guys tell me, stand there, and hate uh, like we had uh, news thrash um, instead of news flash and just <laughs> talking about um, clever things uh, which happened in metal like uh, Kirk Hammett lost his phone or uh, Metallica playing with uh, Lady Gaga or but it was like kind of like lame because all the guys in the internet got their information from Facebook and then I start to get all this information make a video, have to cut it, put it out, and the information is one week old, so... Uh, okay, we, so it's hard to do news shows that are timely. Yeah, you, when, when, yeah. You have, when you do this, then don't cut it and just put it out. Uh, make a five-minute video and put it out. Yeah. So that would be the proper way, I guess. Maybe this is a point where you're just like, holy shit, Metallica's gonna play with Lady Gaga. Send. Yeah, like uh, like you would do it on Facebook. Yeah, just with a video, and so we we stopped that because uh, the views went down. It, it's all about views, you know. Mm -hmm. Just when you have a company behind you, it's not just be your uh, your own thing. There are other people want to see views, and they say, okay, now you've got a thousand views in a week. Uh, in a week. That's not cool. You have to do every anything else. So and then we started a, a thing called Lessons in Steel, um, where I talk about what is making music about because there are several. Well, most of the metal scene 
kids and guys don't know what making music is about. They think like, uh, okay, the band got songs, they go into the studio, they record it, they go on tour, everything is cool. They earn money, why don't they just uh, give me a shirt for free because they are on tour, they are getting money, what is their problem? And I started to uh, make a list what uh, does all these things uh, cost, like uh, renting a van, uh, going to a venue, what have you do, uh, to do at the venue, making all this stuff to uh, teach people about that it's pretty hard to be on tour. That was like the lessons and steals of or going to the studio and I will continue this with uh, a real studio from Berlin and yeah. guitar builders uh, where I will go and uh, ask them about what is it about making a guitar. And you're in a band as well? You're a musician? Yeah, in several bands, yeah. Uh, we butter the bread with butter. <laughs> Maybe uh, not the thing everybody likes, but uh, uh, kind of like a good known metalcore band, yeah. And Placenta from Berlin, you have to check them out. I'm the bassist, yeah. Yeah, bassist. Everybody in Freaks TV is a bass player. So, really? Uh, well, most everybody. He's singing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Future of Berlin Metal TV. Go. Um, I'm kind of like sick of uh, doing this YouTuber stuff like BB's Beauty Palace or my best friend Der Dunkle Parabelritter is doing like just standing in front of the camera and uh, doing a monologue and uh, set people with my opinion under pressure to to believe that that is real and stuff so i just want like doing this uh just chatting with a guy having a beer is for me more familiar because i'm doing this in my free time and stuff like uh i normally i do not uh, stand in my flat and talk to myself about metal and uh, it's like this is not an audience and th so actually not the audience comes later when the video is out but it's kind of hard to do it and watch myself in the editorial program and cut it and no oh, this could, I could do this better and it's not just like metalheads like the word real right uh, mm. or true it's not Authentic. true or real and stuff I yeah. I, I want to have a chat I want to um, grab information from other musicians than mostly telling people about what I think about the new Metallica record. So you can do this while you're chatting with someone else, but you do not have to do this uh, with the single camera standing alone in your room. And it's not like uh, I hate what Berlin Metal TV was about, but I guess there is the time has come to do another step for this because it's uh, seven years old. Maybe we can do it uh, this way as well. Yeah, it's funny because I'm kind of in the opposite thing. So for two years we've made movies and we didn't really show ourselves except for the occasional Instagram photo. And now we're kind of standing in our bedrooms and looking into the camera and talking about the new Metallica album. Not really, but no, maybe, maybe we're kind of doing this too because people want that as well. So Maybe it's cool to do it, uh, yeah, both of those things yeah. because uh, Maybe there comes a time like I had when I saw this uh, terrible uh, Dunkler Parade Ritter video where I just wanted to uh, do a monologue about it. I didn't want to chat with him, I just wanted to tell my opinion about that. Maybe it's okay to do it uh, as well next to chatting. But yeah. um, I mean, maybe that's the next level for you and him. So that yeah, you guys get together, I mean. we'll bring you to the Freaks TV, this will be like the, you know, the neutral zone. Best content on Metal TV, Berlin Metal TV. Thanks, Axel, for coming. <laughs> best content on Berlin Metal TV. <laughs> and he is the best host on Freaks TV. Check out Berlin Metal TV. We're going to go to the bar. Freaks out. See ya. <laughs> <laughs>